Hello and welcome to another lecture of Shopify Dropshipping Store 12 Beginners to Expert. In previous lecture, we have imported products by using Overload, and here you can see we have imported 20 products in Overload from AliExpress. So, in this lecture, we will be editing all the products and uh, publishing in it in importing it into our Shopify store so here you see in the products we don't have any product in our store yet so in our Uberlo app we have 20 products in our import list so before going to import all of these products we will be creating four collections in our Shopify store deleting all previous collections that was created so once you will open your collection list here you will see this thing in collections so I'll be deleting all the things in inventory in gift cards in transfer and so here in the collections I'll be creating one collection that is called Jewelry set. So after giving the title and clicking on save, we have created one collection jewelry set. Now we will create another after clicking on create jewelry box. And I'm making it manual. We will see collection creation and everything later. But, but now we are just walking through a uh, smooth flow. So we will be completing all the things at the end of our this course. Jewelry. And we have another last thing that was yes, that was jewelry organizer in the collection. So here you see we have created four collections. We'll see the use of these collections later. Four collection has been created. So now if we go to products and uh, in our Volo import list, we will be editing all these products before importing to store. So here you see. Uh, you have product in the product section you have titles so for jewelry sets I will be editing these titles yeah. you can also make it edit accordingly so here is jewelry set I have Select the collection and then for variants, you see these are the variants available variants. And for pricing, you can set the pricing like here. You see it's showing in PKR, but you can also do once you will keep the store in your local currency, local location, you will see your currency and locations, everything here, right. So after pricing, we'll have description. We'll keep the description like this. We can also edit it according to our store. And in the images, you see we have got one image selected. We can make it as it is. So in the product, we just edited the title, right? And for another port, 
product will be also making the title and selecting it as QZ and then for this Selecting Julian Chain and then here we are just making it, you know, uh, title short so we can put it in our shop for store. And here we have organizer, so we'll be putting it into organizer collection. We have another organizer title here. And then we have this class. be putting it into if you have we should give this change also the tool set Okay, we will be putting this into another collection that is called Chain for Clads. This way we understand the main purpose of why we are editing all these things so you can understand. putting all this into set and then we are putting it into boxes Finish it. You can edit these titles according to your brand naming and everything, you know, to make it perfect for your store. Just check for the titles, you can optimize these titles later for SEO purposes. So we have edited all the titles of Overload import list, and uh, now we we'll select all. We we'll select all the products from here. Get this. All the empty products. If you are doing bulk products import, you can do it with Excel file as well in the product imports.
okay now all the products are selected here you see we have selected 20 products and we will click on import selected once you click this are you sure you want to push 20 products to your store here yeah. uh, click on yes now here you see all the dated title products are now starting import to your software store once these are done you will see these check marks at the beginning so once every all the products are imported you can click on products here and you will see 20 products and these products will be in your shopper store with these things so now you can go to your products here you see before it was no products and now there are like 20 products and in the collection you have in our collection you have products already added we have it in the Apollo and uh, in the products you can simply view the product on your store as well we'll be setting up the theme in next lectures and everything so make it perfect for our new upcoming store I hope you enjoy watching the lectures of this course of dropshipping from AliExpress, we'll be setting up the store in the next lectures and uh, doing more things. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.